whenever we have been told to create a pie chart we end up creating a pie chart looking like this which is a very normal and a common one instead of creating something like this uh, why can't we do something uh, more creative so this is how the pie chart will look like now you can see here i have just put the 50 percent and then comes the title 20 percent there and there's some detailed text then comes the 30 percent and comes the 10 percent so you can see the difference from this to this and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however with the older version also it's possible so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the circle hollow draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the height so i'm going to make it 4.5 the height and width and align center align middle shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice and if you want to reduce the width you can see here you can just drag this small orange point so maybe i'm going to keep this much all right then i'm, I'm going to add few more shapes here go to insert shapes then from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this block arc just click like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to just give this color and then this height and width also you have to make it 4.5 all right and just place it exactly like this and make sure that this is properly aligned and that also can be done so but now i just want to make this maybe for example 15 percent so starting from here so i'm just going to put it like this here and this one i'm just going to reduce it to this one and make sure that this is properly aligned all right so i'm just going to reduce the size a little bit you can see here and then put it exactly here so you just need to do like this all uh, you need to spend a little bit time here so once this is done the other one for example i want to add for 30 percent press ctrl d to duplicate and change the color to some other color and again align center align middle and then rotate it you can see here exactly rotate like this okay and then again if you want bigger just increase the size like this okay like this again one more press ctrl d change the color to some other color again align center align middle and rotate it once again so this one i'm going to stop it here and here i'm going to stop it here all right so you can see our design is almost ready the next thing is we start we need to start giving some uh, the legends kind of you know how much percentage and some detailed text if you like for that go to insert shapes i can just select any shape here rounded corner okay if you want you can make it something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some gradient fill so right mouse click go to format shape and fill select the gradient fill two colors i'm going to give one is the gray color and one stop i'm deleting the second stop also i'm deleting and the other one i'm going to make it white maybe all right and just change the direction the way you want and shape outline make it no outline so now i'm going to give the 3d effect so go to the effects all right go to 3d rotation and you can just choose any rotation of your choice okay so for example i'm just going to choose this one and then go to the 3d format and increase the depth here so generally you don't see the depth again you have to come back to this one all right in the 3d rota rotation and then you can see here you have to rotate it like this can you see here like this and put it okay so again depending on your requirement how much you want you can put it like this you can see here now this is for this option 
press control D this is I'm adding just one here press control D one more here and if it is not visible then again you need to change the direction maybe I want the direction like this you can see here it is more visible here again press control D and add one more here okay so you can see here our basic design is ready now it's time to insert the text so just put maybe this is 50 percent so i'm just going to type 50 only make it bold increase the size if you want any font of your choice i'm using oswald and i'm just going to put it here 50 all right and then percent also press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to put percent here and then i'm going to reduce the size okay and then put it here exactly so this is 50 percent you can see so now this one i'm just going to choose press ctrl d to duplicate sorry let me just do it again one hold the shift key and this one press ctrl d and move this here okay align it properly press ctrl d move this here again ctrl d move this here all right now this could be for example a 20 percent this could be say 30 percent or not 30 percent maybe this could be also 25 percent i'm just giving or of guesses maybe this is 15 percent okay and this would be 10 percent all right and then go to insert text box you can add the title make it bold left align or sorry the right align and then put the text here and add some detailed text add detail text here reduce the size and put it here now i'm going to duplicate this one put this one here if you want you can just put the side also whichever way you feel better just add that one maybe for this also i'm just going to put it here all right and if you want you can add some uh, the title here in the center or at the top also so you can see here uh, how easy uh, uh, to create the pie chart the customized pie chart in powerpoint